Next, we'll talk about the statement of cash flows. The third primary financial statement is called the statement of cash flows, which explains the company's current uh, cash position and how cash position its cash position has changed from the beginning of the accounting period to the end. Cash is an asset shown on the balance sheet, but only the amount of cash at a given point in time. Many investors and other users of financial statements want more information about how cash is flowing into and out of the company in order to get a better idea on the company's financial health. The statement of cash flows takes the cash balance from one year's balance sheet and compares it to the next while providing details about how the firm used cash um, in one sense that it's, it corrects for these things like depreciation, which are non-cash uh, events in the organization. The change in cash is explained through the details through details in three categories: cash or that's from or used for operating activity, cash used for investing activities or used for invest, for investing activities, and cash that's used <clears throat> used for or received from financing activities. Uh, cash from operating activities is calculated by combining the changes in the revenue accounts and expense accounts and current asset accounts and current liability accounts all together to see how the operations is handling its cash. This category of cash flow includes all of the accounts on the balance sheet that relate to uh, by that, are, that relate to computing the revenues and expenses for the particular accounting period. Cash from investing activities is calculated from the changes in the long term or fixed asset accounts. A positive figure, figure usually indicates the business that is selling off some existing long-term assets and reducing its capacity for the future, essentially maybe selling some property or some equipment. Finally, cash from financing activities is calculate from, calculated from changes in long-term liability accounts and the contributed capital accounts of owners in owner's equity. If the amount is negative, the company is likely paying off some of its long-term debt or returning some capital to investors, like through a special dividend or something like that. So that's the discussion of the income statement balance sheet and cash flow. Uh, typically, all of these are used to record historical information about a hump, how the company is doing. But there's another use for these uh, this, this conceptual structure, and that's for planning purposes. And that's when you use what's called a pro forma financial statement. Pro forma financial statements are used to make decisions about future operations within the company. They include the balance sheet, income statement, and cash flow statements, but they're different in that they don't necessarily reflect the historical information, but rather pro forma or as if something would happen that hasn't actually yet occurred. So for planning purposes. When a company is considering a change, uh, it composes or creates pro forma financial statements that are in place as if the change occurred so they could see the implications of that change on its business position. Uh, can calculate the magnitude of the expenses involved, the need, whether or not the company needs financing and the like. For example, if a company was spinning off one of its, uh, say it was its own series of restaurants and it was spinning off a restaurant or selling a restaurant, it might create a pro forma financial statement for the existing company after the spin out and also for that particular restaurant, the full financial statements for someone to purchase. So you would create pro forma statements as if this is how the business would work. These are fundamentally different than your traditional audited financial statements, which reflect factual information about the history of the company. These are for planning purposes and should always keep them different in your mind. In the next uh, lecture, we'll start to talk about uh, financial statement analysis and how you use all of this information to think about the business and to make important decisions about what to do to improve efficiency, effectiveness, or to enter into new markets.